hi everyone welcome back again to mastering retaining walls and shoring systems using plexus uh, 2d this is tutorial number four and in this example in this uh, tutorial we are going to uh, explore the basics of uh, soil structure interaction and its role in uh, retaining wall design and uh, simulation uh, in plexus uh, 2d so in uh, this is uh, going to be a short uh, tutorial and we will uh, briefly talk about uh, what is the soil structure interaction especially for retaining walls because our course is uh, related to uh, simulation of different types of retaining walls using a plexus 2d also we will uh, talk about what are the factors that affect the soil structure interaction also uh, the, we will uh, talk about the importance of uh, modeling retaining walls or uh, shoring systems in plexus uh, 2d so what is the soil structure interaction ssi uh, the soil structure interaction uh, is the interaction between uh, the retaining wall or any structure in contact with the soil and the surrounding soil or the ground under uh, applied uh, loads so uh, the soil structure interaction describes how uh, the soil and uh, the wall or any structure in contact with the soil uh, how they influence or affect each, each other under uh, a different uh, type of forces like a lateral earth pressure or maybe uh, a surcharge load comes from a vehicles or any external loads or even in uh, seismic uh, events like earthquake or uh, dynamic forces so why uh, soil structure important in a retaining wall uh, design uh, the soil structure uh, interaction is uh, very important in a retaining wall design because if uh, if the soil structure interaction is not considered while uh, designing the retaining walls or any shoring uh, system it can uh, uh, cause the excessive uh, wall deflection uh, wall bending uh, too much or shifting laterally or uh, it may uh, cause over or underestimating a lateral earth pressure uh, which may affect the safety factor because uh, the uh, lateral earth pressure are uh, generally used uh, or calculated using uh, uh, analytical or some uh, theoretical equations and uh, sometimes uh, the over or underestimate the lateral earth pressure and this affects the design of uh, retaining walls also it uh, affected uh, the factor of safety of the retaining wall uh, because uh, uh, unstable behavior like sliding or overturning due to unbalanced forces between the soil and uh, the wall so if you consider the soil structure interaction in uh, retain for retaining walls uh, we can uh, estimate uh, uh, the, f uh, the factor of safety or the whole factor of safety more uh, uh, precisely uh, using finite element method uh, software like uh, Plexus. And if you correctly modeling and analyzing the soil structure interaction in a retaining wall, it uh, helps us to uh, uh, correctly uh, calculate the safety factor against uh, uh, failure also it helps us to optimize uh, the design of the retaining walls because uh, it uh, it becomes more economical and efficient in material use because in uh, a plugs study we can uh, run or analyze uh, various uh, scenarios very easily so we can uh, optimize the retaining wall uh, design also, also it helps us to analyze the uh, retaining structures for long lasting and durable under changing conditions because we can uh, 
uh, analyze or simulate the retaining walls under various uh, conditions like uh, uh, varying groundwater uh, levels or uh, earthquake uh, events. So uh, there are some uh, factors uh, to consider in soil uh, structure interaction because uh, they affect the soil structure interaction. For example, uh, the stiffness of uh, the material. Uh, for example, if you have a rigid walls like a gravity walls or maybe flexible walls like a steel sheet piles, they behave uh, differently uh, because uh, retaining walls like uh, gravity walls have a higher uh, stiffness and are less likely to deform so uh, this leading to a more direct transfer of pressure from uh, the soil to the wall uh, also uh, flexible uh, walls like a sheet pile wall uh, can deform more easily because uh, they are very thin and uh, this uh, helps to distribute loads uh, more differently and uh, this may help reduce uh, soil pressure on uh, the wall. Another uh, factor which affect the uh, soil structure interaction is uh, the properties of uh, the ground or the type of uh, the soil. Uh, for example, if we have a soft or a loose clay, this may cause a more uh, movement or settlement affecting the wall uh, stability. Uh, also, if uh, we have a dense sand or stiff clay, on uh, the other hand, offer more uh, resistance to the movement and tend to, ex to exert more uh, predictable force on uh, the wall. Also, the construction uh, method for uh, the retaining wall is one of the factors uh, that affect the soil uh, structure interaction. Uh, the construction method, like uh, whether the wall is a precast or cast in place, can also influence how the wall interacts with the soil. Uh, for example, a wall uh, built in uh, stages may be, uh, behave differently than a wall constructed at uh, once. So why it is important to uh, model retaining structures in Plaxis uh, 2D? Uh, first, what is Plaxis 2D? As we know, a Plaxis uh, 2D is a uh, very advanced and powerful finite element method software which helps engineers to simulate and analyze various geotechnical problems uh, uh, including uh, retaining walls and uh, uh, other uh, geotechnical problems like pile foundation, mm, uh, dams or uh, uh, any other geotechnical problems uh, so it uh, allows for a detailed modeling of retaining walls including uh, soil structure interaction complex soil conditions and various uh, load scenarios and also uh, structural behavior in uh, two uh, dimensional uh, space so modeling a retaining uh, structures uh, in Plaxis 2D is uh, crucial because it uh, uh, provides engineers uh, to simulate a real uh, world condition uh, using finite element method and uh, detailed analysis can be done in uh, Plaxis 2D so it uh, helps engineers can better understand the performance of uh, the retaining walls and optimize uh, the design for safety, uh, stability and cost effectiveness. Also another point is uh, stability analysis. In Plaxis uh, 2D we can easily uh, perform a stability analysis for our retaining walls and we can easily estimate the factor of safety for uh, the retaining structure under uh, various load condition. Uh, also we can, uh, because a Plaxis uh, is a deformation analysis program, we can easily estimate the deformation of uh, the wall and of uh, the soil uh, and we can easily uh, know how much is the lateral displacement of uh, the wall. Another point is a uh, stress distribution behind the retaining wall. Uh, so using Plaxis uh, 2D we can uh, easily 
estimate uh, the lateral uh, earth pressure or vertical earth pressure behind uh, the wall so uh, uh, the program uh, produced three contours uh, plots and uh, this can identify the critical uh, high stress uh, zones that may be require reinforcement or more uh, design adjustment Another important point is uh, op design optimization because in uh, Plax 2D as I mentioned before it gives uh, stress contours uh, behind the retaining walls and in uh, soil body so we can easily uh, know uh, which area is uh, needed for uh, more reinforcement or uh, which areas is uh, uh, has a uh, low uh, stress and we can uh, uh, use more uh, thinner uh, section so in uh, general plexus uh, enables engineer to run multiple uh, scenarios with the various parameters uh, for example different uh, soil types or different loading condition and also uh, helping to identify the most cost effective and uh, safe design uh, solution so uh, I hope uh, it was clear and uh, this, wa uh, uh, this was an introduction to uh, soil structure interaction and why it is important to model a retaining wall in Plaxis uh, 2D. So in uh, the following uh, tutorials we will uh, start uh, simulate various uh, uh, types of retaining walls like a gravity retaining walls, cantilever and uh, uh, sheet piles and diaphragm walls using Plaxis 2D and uh, see you in the next lesson.